out of all the things we were going to do that day, and I wanted everything to go perfectly that day, the easiest thing I was going to do is at the beginning, at, toward the beginning of the spacewalk, was remove a handrail, a yellow cover, covered handrail, which you'll see, colored, like a gold colored handrail, that was used to insert the instrument on a previous mission. Now it was in the way, and it needed to be removed because it was blocking about four of those 111 screws, and we had to get all of them out. So the easiest thing I was going to do with the big power tool was remove this handrail. Four screws at the top, four screws at the bottom, big hex screws, no problem, never a problem in training. We had backup plans and easy outs and screw head destroyers and all these fancy things for the small screws. But those big screws on the handrail, even I couldn't mess those up, right? This is what happens. You see red lights, I'm, you know, I'm not getting a good torque reading on my power tool. And then I look and I realize that I've, I've, I've stripped that screw. And I quickly realize what I've done. Screw's not coming out, handrail's not coming off, plate's not coming off, power supply's not being replaced, we're not bringing this back to life, we'll never find out if there's life in the universe, and everyone's gonna blame me. <laughs> there was no one else to blame. I was the only guy there. Me and my buddy Mike Good, but he was, oh, he was watching me. And it was, like, I was the only, it was obviously something I did, right? I couldn't say, oh, I don't know how that happened. You know, I, you know, you only got it was there. And now, this is my buddy reading me the checklist, and here's the NASA solution for this. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, man, you have a go. Here we go. We were trying everything once I made this mistake. And what happened was, is one of our backroom guys, a guy named Jim Corbo, kind of separated, it was a Sunday afternoon this was happening. He separated himself from the conversation. He said, what would I do if I was in my garage? I would yank that thing off. And he said, too bad Mike's, Mike's in space, he can't do that. And then he said, maybe Mike can do that. He calls up to the Goddard Space Flight Center where they have a replica of the telescope and all the instruments. He tells these guys his idea. They run and get it out of a clean room. They hook a fish scale up to it and they yank on it and it reads 60 pounds of force to rip that thing off. So then they radioed that into our control team. That's Dan Burbank, my Capcom, my buddy from my astronaut class, Tony Sakachi, the flight director. The flight director's in charge. They, what they talked, I asked about this later, what they were worried about was me creating debris that would go in the telescope or come out and hit me and put a hole in my suit and that would have been worse. So what they had us do was very carefully wrap the bottom of that handrail with tape and then give it a couple, a couple yanks to yield it and then wang, it snapped right off. Um, this photo was taken while I was, we were still shovel, troubleshooting. I'm not very happy here. Let me tell you what was going through my mind. There's two things I learned as an astronaut trainer that I want to share with you. One is, no matter, you mess up. No matter how bad you've messed up, you gotta, you gotta keep going. And we had this rule of give yourself 30 seconds of regret. When you break something or you, make, you do something wrong, you're like, man, that was the stupidest thing I could have ever done. Beat yourself up for 30 seconds. Actually take a time out. 30 seconds, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really hard on myself, and be really upset. But then you have to move on. Give yourself 30 seconds of regret, you have to move on. I couldn't stay in the doldrums or I wouldn't have been any help to anybody. The other thing I remembered from my training was, no matter how bad a situation is, no matter how bad you've messed up, no matter how hopeless it appears when you've broken something, you need to remember, you can make it worse. Because <laughs> I, I don't know if that's ever happened to you. You're like, oh, I broke this. Let me speed up now. Let me cut a corner here. Oh, now look what I've done, right? And I was definitely in that situation. I was ready to, I could have made it worse. I could have started losing tools. I could have unhooked myself. A lot of things could have happened. I, I, really, I can't make this worse. I've got to get help from my friends, let the control center try to come up with something, and then maybe it'll work. And it did, and then I was a happy astronaut. <laughs>